Optimus versus Eki. And uh, let's see, let's jump into this game right now. Huh? There we go, in the bottom left corner of the ruins, it is Optimus, our Red Terran player. Yes, and his opponent in the bottom right of the ruins of Endion is the Purple Zerg from Team MCON Esports. He's Eki. Cool. Alrighty. Um, I would yeah. say going into this, Optimus is the favorite, right? Yeah, for sure. This should be a, a rather tough battle here for uh, for Eki. Um, I'm not sure how good Optimus' TVZ is. I think he likes to favor mech. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, sure. I had to sneeze, but I think I'm muted my mic just perfectly. Nice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Smooth caster moves. Nice. Um, so yeah, he's definitely going to be the one uh, on the back foot in this. But like, what I wanted to say is Optimus likes to play mech against Zerg, mm -hmm. um, even in Legacy of the Void. So I'm quite interested to see how he's actually going to be taking this, because usually players like him and Euphermal, they will either play very aggressively and then or, and, or go for mech and play very passive and go for like this big push uh, that is very hard to stop. Mm, yes, sir. Eki will be scouting it, though. He has an Overlord with a fancy skin all the way across the map, or nearly all the way. He will see... Okay, so there's a Reaper coming up. Very standard opener for, for Terrence. I think they get they get a guaranteed scout with a Reaper. Yeah. And, uh, may, may even do some damage. They If a, if a Zerg controls it right, he shouldn't lose any probes or drones, but, you know, you never know. If a Terran controls his Reaper very, very good, he may get one. Yeah, so far it's also a standard build for Mekki. I think he got a, an early extractor, so he's getting a bit more gas than usual, so he can start basically his uh, uh, link speed rise to spawning pool. Oh, wait, he's hey, actually... He something else. What you... Yeah, I think he got an overlord drop, right? Is that how it works? Was... What did he spend What's... 50 gas yeah, on? Yeah, I'm not sure, actually. Queens don't cost gas, right? No, they don't. Uh... What did he spend gas on? Hang on. No, he didn't get ventral sacks on this one. Or did is that, he? that one flying? No. Or was, was I just looking at the wrong? No, I, okay, I, now he's got... I saw it too. I saw 50 gas disappear. I think we both looked at Optimus's gas, actually. I think because... you're right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, this Reaper now uh, pestering a bunch of Zerglings. Uh, actually getting one kill already. Gonna kill off this drone. Wow. Uh, so good harass already from Optimus. Two kills. Uh, this <laughs> almost blows himself up with the mine. Uh, nice control. Uh, this queen uh, kind of needs to get uh, get in the action and uh, ward away this reaper and does so successfully. But uh, that's like some successful arrest already by uh, by Optimus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we were both looking at Optimus. Guess that was silly. All right, but uh, Zergling Speed is on the way and actually nearly finished by now. So this reaper's time of scouting. Oh, and he's, oh, he got the cancel and he will get the drone as well. No, an extractor. Nope. Great denial and uh, great escape here by, uh, by Eki. Yeah, quick uh, however, this is still quite a, a rough spot. Like, he needs to sort of draw away the Reaper oh, and then he... land the... Oh. Yeah, nice move there back. Okay, so that cost him two Zerglings, but any further delay would have been a lot worse than mm -hmm. that. Yeah, um, wow. So, nice moves. Yeah. In, in, indeed, in, uh, nice moves. Um, we see uh, Widow Mines being made and rallied across the map here by... Uh, by Optimus, I don't really see that that often. I mean, he still has his Reaper up, and he still... Okay, now he sees that there's a uh, uh, circling speed. But I think he just wants to pressure really heavily. Uh, this is pretty risky, though. Like, against... The, uh, I'd say a, a Grandmaster player, this is not something uh, you would typically do. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, so he's baited some of the... Oh, okay. That was a great bait. He baited one Zergling into the mine. He painted the links in one, one, one split up, and the mine actually blew up. So I'm not sure. But... I, unfortunately, I missed it. I think I was looking at the rocks going down because apparently, ah. if you shoot one side of the destructible rocks, both sides <laughs> collapse. Uh, that's that's I, handy to know. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, there, there was some friendly fire involved, which was quite cool to watch. Um, yeah, so it's no pressure from Optimus. He's got a whole bunch of marines, and he's getting a third command center. Uh, he's also getting stimmed, so this is definitely just a standard build order from him. Uh, but I was very curious as to where he was actually going with this. Like, he's, he laid one window mine uh, somewhere in the creep of uh, Eki, uh, who might be hard-pressed to actually find it, but I don't think one window mine is going to make a whole lot of difference. So, right now, yeah, Eki going Road Ravager uh, might actually be setting up quite a nasty timing. 
but to be honest, Eki has been down on workers compared to Optimus all game long. So uh, this uh, drop mm -hmm. that's got can actually be uh, very difficult for him to deal with if he doesn't spot it in time. Mm -hmm. For sure, and uh, he has to be careful with it. Like you said, it's only one widow mine, but if a clump of zerglings walks over it, then bam, all the uh, <laughs> the shielding yeah. for the ravagers is gone. Uh, all right. Hmm. Uh, Strange position for the for the ravagers to be in right there. So, so he's yeah, trying he to... here, and he wasn't expecting a drop of main, I guess. Hmm. Uh, has to run uh, with it on the other side. Both parts been taken out, some minor damage. Uh, the ravagers are quite key, like, you get a surround with some of the link. Kill anything until uh, the Ravagers get a couple uh, of good shots. Mm -hmm. uh, moves up the Widowmine, that's a nice Ooh. one. Probably get picked off. Oh, I didn't happen. get it. Okay. Yeah, this would not be a very good drop. Like, uh, he's going to get underneath it. There's creep everywhere. Uh, Aki's got this. You know, no significant damage yet from Optimus. He's going to scan here. Kill, kill some creep. Uh, and he's just taking up at home. You know, getting his first DC up, upgrades, whole shebang. And the creep. No Widow Mines to help uh, work this off, so picks up, moves out, uh, actually, and keeps Eki occupied by moving these uh, these two dropship medivacs just around and around the main base, the natural third. Uh, so Eki is staying in his own base, not bothering Optimus, who is back at home, uh, starting to mine from his third base as well. Uh, what kind of tech is Optimus going in? He's building, this he's adding is... four barracks now. I was going to say, this seems dangerous. Like, okay, good pickup from... Uh... Optimus, like he keeps kind of chipping away at the circling count. Uh, and what's more important is that this harass is really preventing Eki from doing anything else. Like he needs to be on his toes defending here uh, while macroing perfectly. Like he needs to keep his work account up. Um, speaking of work account, I don't think Optimus is uh, adding on any. He's building one. SC okay, he's building more SCVs. I think he, I thought he was cutting SCVs purposely there for for a second, but it does not seem to be the case. He's just kind of plucking away at uh, his opponent's uh, creep uh, and doing a good job at it. Like, look at how far he's receding. Uh, meanwhile, Eki is only on three creeps, I believe. He must take damage on the... Uh... Yeah, he's got to be careful not to take damage there. Uh, this looks like it... Mm, whoa, no, it wasn't. Uh, and also, this uh, definitely shows that, uh, like I, I noticed before, that this is showing that Optimus is not going mech at all because he's sending his factory around uh, the map for scouting and he's adding lots of factories and he's building 12 bio units at a time now uh, with Metafax, so it's definitely going to be bio based play for Optimus all the way. He's adding uh, level 2 up, uh, upgrades as well for his units, uh, his bio units that is. So, mm -hmm. damage can be expected. Oh, he's picking off a couple of ravages. That's actually quite huge. Uh, Eki's still not higher, still doesn't have a higher work account than, uh, you know, over 60. Uh, might even lose more overlords. Uh, yeah, Optimus is definitely keep, keeping up uh, in the mid game economy, uh, even though he hasn't really properly saturated, saturated his third. And he's kind of supply blocked right now. Oh, wow. Um, oh, I missed that drop. In. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's. Oh, I, could, I missed that drop in the main completely. All right, Whoa. so that put so much pressure on on Eki. I almost want to watch that replay back, but I, I just I completely missed it. I thought Eki hmm. was still in a good position. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. If, I'm not sure if that was a completely lost position, but maybe Eki felt well. I'm not ahead, and against Optimus, I need to be something like that. Uh, also, he noticed I, there wasn't a lot of defense ready to defend that drop in the main, but maybe Eki felt that he had been on the back foot during the all of, entirety of the game, not being able to attack or anything, which of course was true. Mm -hmm. um, but I, th that GG surprised me. That timing was a bit quick for him. That surprised me. But of course, um, Eki knows better than I do uh, what his position was. Uh, but uh, I'd be uh, maybe if we uh, maybe if Eki wins, we talk to him on Skype afterwards, ask him about that game. But that will mean he has to win the next two games because uh, in a best of three, he's now down one game to zero. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Ultimus. Like, I, I think Eki had a better shot at that game than he maybe thought he would. I mean, he thought he had. Uh, it's very hard to... Uh, of course, Optimus played that, you know, pretty well. Um, he took... He, you know, he just did, did so much damage, but not game-ending damage, like, mm -hmm. at all. Um, I, I didn't see the drop, so it's really hard to analyze that. But I felt he was doing... You know, Eki was doing a pretty decent job at defending. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yes, Eki has chosen Frozen Temple as the map for the second 
game. Hmm. A TVZ on Frozen Temple. I like TVZ actually. I think it's a really fun matchup to watch. Blah, blah, blah. The StarCraft menu keeps making these noises. Yeah. There's this, yeah you yeah. can turn off interface sounds if you uh, feel so inclined to. That's a, but does it also turn off like the 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 leaping Artanis in the background that you know has lots of noise and stuff? Uh, that's uh, the other option. That's uh, uh, ambient sounds. I have those turned off because I went mad with Kerrigan destroying the room she was staying in all the time. Yeah, <laughs> I can imagine. All right. Uh, am I in the lobby? Show the lobby chat. I'm just going to do this manually. All right, cool. Um, awesome. Have fun. Uh, the game is starting, guys. Optimus vs. Aki, game number two on Frozen Temple. Could be the last game of the night if Optimus takes it. It would be 2-0 for AT, another AT victory in a otherwise MCON-dominated um, bracket tonight. Well, not as dominated as it has been in the past, but still, lots of MCON players there tonight. Let's see. Jumping into the game right now. Yes, there we go. Jeroen, take it away. In the top left of Frozen Temple, we have the purple Zerg from Team MCOM Esports. He's Eki. Yep. And in the bottom right, uh, immediately dropping down a supply depot, as he usually mm -hmm. does. It is Optimus, our favorite for tonight, I think, to take the whole thing. Especially after that performance in the first game. Just very, very solid macro all around. Do you think we're going to see another bio game out of him, or do you think he's going to show his uh, mech preferences this game? Uh, yeah, I think he's just going to play the same. Like, he just played a very safe style in the previous game. He didn't really do anything special. Um, and when you're up against a player that you can beat by just doing that, then there's really very little reason to deviate. Uh, I think in Eki's position, I would probably all-in here. But I'm actually not quite sure of how many good all-in Zerg actually has against Terran at this point. Um, and the fact that he's going hatch first kind of says that he's not going to. Okay, so, interesting thing, Optimus has placed his barracks in such a way that I expect an add-on to come up there. And yeah, for sure. That would be a tech lab, I think? No, it's going to go for a reactor. reactor. You go Reaper first, mm -hmm. and then add on a, a reactor immediately. To make more Reapers, or what? No, for double marine production. Like, oh. he just had a, a big blob of marines um, throughout the entire early to mid-game that he just kept, uh, you know, in making bigger, and you sort of delay the, the first tech lab compared to, uh, you know, in favor of a higher marine count, because, you know, with the high drone count, it's quite easy for Zerg to make a lot of stuff. Hmm. All right, agreed. Comes the second uh, supply depot, and as soon as the tech lab, or sorry, the, the um, reactor has dropped, there will be a full wall off at the top here. Oh, there yep. we go. First Reaper jumps out. Hmm. And there yeah. comes the reactor, so... After this, okay, he's going to go for second barracks. That will uh, be the one including the tech lab. Uh, some players like to go for a factory first, but there's very little reason to actually do so. Uh, so this Reaper is going to hop into the base. It's going to get a good, good scout, sees that Zerkin speed will be underway. Uh, already gets chased out by... He's going to get a drone pick maybe. No queen here yet. Um, no, he's going to morph that in a start. He tried to block that by standing right next to it. Uh, but still, the drone managed to uh, morph into an extractor there. I love uh, the use of the... these uh, grenades by uh, by Optimus. Yeah, he's uh, he's quite uh, clearly very well versed in usage of... Oh, <laughs> that queen. Right, so the KD-8 charge is what it's called. Actually, never, I've never seen that KD-8 charge. Yeah, it's uh, not the same name as the old... Uh... Oh, Eki actually... Uh throwing away one of his overlords at the natural of Optimus. That was uh, That's quite a waste. There's really no reason for him to lose that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's going to go down for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, ooh. On the other side of the ah. map, is Optimus going to prevent this hatchery? Wow, oh. I, I've never seen that before. <laughs> so but apparently the, on... the KD-8 yeah. charge does not prevent a hatchery from going down uh, on no. top of it. Yeah, it's not a building oh. or a entity that uh, has collision uh, properties. Oh. I think that's the proper way to <laughs> explain. Yeah. Um, yeah, this Reaper man still alive, uh, and it's gonna get out even <laughs> once again. Uh, it's got three kills to its name, which is uh, once again a significant count. We have an earlier starport, I think, from Optimus this time. I'm not sure if it's earlier, hmm. um, but he did skip the Widow Mine 
really oh wait there's the way the money it's walking across the map sorry about that uh, and he's probably going to position it so yeah right between this, the natural and the third uh maybe try to blow up some drones uh, but this queen here is going to be like uh run away okay so this the, the reason you put it right there where where he's put it oh uh, yeah that's that, that's a smart circling and he relocates it. that's, that's a smart circling <laughs> Well, <laughs> that's a smart Ecky. Sacrificing himself for the, for the greater good yeah. uh, is, is smart for us, Eric. Uh -huh. um, what I was going to say, if when you position it that close to the mineral patches, is that uh, means that when clump drones will, like a drone train will come in, uh, they will actually be all stacked when the first boon of mine hits. So you get a, a lot more value for your money. Got to be careful. He moves it around just a little bit. Maybe the queen's going to soak up a shot. Yes, there she goes. Takes a lot of damage there, but doesn't die, and of course, a stack of drones would have died. Yeah, this is, uh, I think, putting a significant delay on the actual drone transfer by Eki. The Reaper oh, may okay. finally, yes, finally does go down. Yeah, but uh, just in time for Optimus to uh, actually uh, fly across the map with two more medevacs. Uh, they're not completely <laughs> with a man actually on the run. Uh, this might actually be a really good bait here, like if he just burrows right now and then drops the Marines on top of the roaches. Whoa. This could actually... Oh, and he gets a hit Ooh. off, but hits the Marines as well. Yeah, but this is still a, a favorable engagement here for Optimus. Mm -hmm. uh, has the opportunity right now to run into the third and do quite a bit of damage. He could fight the Roaches head on, but he doesn't do all that much damage. Yeah, <laughs> dropping on top of there is just great. And this is just uh, the power of that early timing. I remember this being a similar timing to in here in uh, Heart of the Swarm, where you would finish, I think, 1-1 mm -hmm. and try to do a similar timing. But this is uh, even better. Wow. Focus fired the uh, the overseer. This is such a hard thing to deal with with Zerg. You're only on coach with Zerg. Like, it's just terror mobility to the back. Meanwhile, at the at home, Optimus is just you know getting great, increasing his production, getting more workers, getting a third. Uh, it's just the typical signs of a, a good player trying to outstretch his opponent. He is powering up for sure, and he will be cranking out tons and tons of units soon. He has two engineering base here, cranking out upgrades as well. He's currently working on 1-1 one, one for his infantry, uh, and still doing damage with these drops. Uh, Eki is probably feeling similar similar to last game, where he had the idea, or I guess he had, that he needs to be defending, defending, defending all the time, and uh, his creep spread, just like in last game, isn't optimal at all. Um, he has he has a hard time to to build up to build up anything significant against against Optimus. He has a slight drone lead though this game as opposed to last game. Uh, oh, this drop is yeah. He has to cancel the Ravagers. I, I was gonna say like it's taking him so long to actually make Ravagers. So mm -hmm. you know what's the holdup? Uh, it doesn't seem to be uh, hampering Optimus all that much. Like uh, the, f the more you can delay actual Ravagers from popping out, the happier you will be uh, as a Terran. Mm -hmm. uh, Eki's economy seems to be in a slightly better shape this time. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think if he just gets a lot of Ravagers now, he might have a significant uh, army size. Um, but still, you know, Optimus is, uh, you know, macroing up unpressured uh, at all, getting plus two, plus two. Uh, and I think he will be uh, pushing out for a timing in uh, something like one and a half minutes. Yeah, a fourth base going down for Eki now, just like we saw in last game. So Eki is keeping on top of his micro, ma macro, definitely. Uh, he's keeping his... Well, I was going to say minerals low, but that's not the case, actually. So he needs to spend his money more. Um, so many efficient trades here with this harassment by Optimus all the time. Uh, loses one marine. No! <laughs> no. Vi. No, left behind, right? <laughs> yeah. He's going to lose his factory. No, it's going to be fine. Yeah, I, I'm honestly, like... Optimus, with just harassing the economy of Eki, is currently, okay, I was going to say he's like way ahead in supply, but if you look at the bank, then Eki can actually uh, resupply that quite easily. And it's actually getting an ultra list then at the eight minute mark. Wow, oh, that's All a right. really quick ultra. Yeah. If he has time to get those out, then maybe he can do a push at Optimus' space, but Optimus, like you said, his only investment so far has been two medevacs with units. That's it. Uh, and he still yeah. has uh, like basically one and a half or one one of those left, uh, and he has done significant. He delayed Eki significantly. He's ahead in yeah. supply. Um, speaking of delaying, look what's coming across oh the map God. for Op Optimus. It's uh, quite scary. He's probably going to go for two-two timing. Um, I don't really see Eki holding this without Banelings, uh, but he's not going to go for Banelings because he's backing so heavily on Ultralisk. He can start Ultralisk production now. 
but I think you can make like one. Yeah. Maybe two. And it takes so long for them to build as well. And like you said, two-two timing. So oh, no, each, oh, right the timing is just off though. This is what we call anti-timing. That's good. But uh, the splits from Optimus are quite good, and uh, the Zerglings just get shredded by the two-two Marine. The rest of the bio, Refugees don't stand much oh. of chance. <laughs> Oh my God. 2 2 um, finished during that fight, and this was a, a convincing win by Optimus. So, congratulations.